do you want to cut your power bill without installing a big rooftop solar system? Let me show you the easiest way to do this with two 425 watt panels, a micro inverter and a wall outlet. I picked up these two 425 watt solar panels for $65 each. And this $115 micro inverter can feed up to 800 watts of solar back into the grid. First, let's connect everything and then see if it makes financial sense. This video is not sponsored. I bought everything with my own money. And as usual, everything will be linked in the description. First, we connect the solar panels to the micro inverter. We just plug each panel into its separate MPPT tracker. The set of the micro inverter also comes with these MC4 extension leads. Let's plug the panels into each separate MPPT. This micro inverter has two independent MPPTs, which means each panel is optimized individually. That's great if one panel is shaded or facing at a different angle. Now you will plug the AC output of the micro inverter into your socket. But the micro inverter also comes with this AC extension lead. And then you will plug it into your socket that's running into the house. And once it's connected, the power will flow back to your house. It will be used by whatever appliances you are running. And any extra generated energy will go back to the grid, which will make your meter turn backwards. Right now you can see the red light is flashing. That means the inverter is trying to sync with the grid. And once it has been synced with the grid, it will turn green. And that means it's sending power back to your home. This kind of system needs a signal from the grid to work. If there is no grid signal, the inverter won't produce any power. And there you go, the light is now green. It is sending power back into the grid. This micro inverter is designed to work right out of the box. There is no app needed. Just plug it in and you're producing power. But if you want to monitor your power production, there's an optional app you can install. Since I'm too far away from the house Wi-Fi, I created a local hotspot using another phone. You can also use a Wi-Fi extender if you don't have a signal. First, you'll need to create an account on the app. Then they will send you a code to your email. Then you can scan the QR code on the back of the micro inverter. Then enter your Wi-Fi details and once it's synced you will see the dashboard. It shows your daily production and total energy. However, once the Wi-Fi connection is interrupted, it will not log any data. Again, you don't need the app for this micro inverter to work. But it's great if you want to track your harvest over time. Let's talk about whether this little setup actually makes sense financially. The total cost of the system was $245, $130 for the panels and $15 for the micro inverter. I ran the numbers using PV watts for my location. With 800 watts of solar, a 14% system loss, 41 degree tilt angle, which I calculated using the tilt angle calculator on my website, and an azimuth of 180 degrees, which means facing south. We get a yearly energy harvest of 737 kilowatt hours. I pay about 25 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's $184 in energy savings per year. That means the systems pay for itself in just 1.3 years, or about 16 months. After that, it's basically free electricity. 
and if you adjust your panel tilt seasonally using my tilt angle calculator, you could improve that even more. You might be thinking $65 for 425 watt solar panels. That's very cheap. I found these brand new panels on a second hand site, similar to Craigslist or eBay. The seller had bought a pallet and was reselling the ones that were left over. So here's a tip. Check your local classifieds or online marketplaces. Just make sure the panels are in good condition, preferably new. You can also search for solar panels on Google with your location turned on. Sometimes you'll find local shops with clearance deals. One thing to keep in mind is that shipping large panels can be expensive. If you pick them up locally, you will save a lot of money and have more options available as well, because not everybody knows or can ship these large panels. In my country, Belgium, it's only legal to use a micro inverter up to 800 watts, if you're plugging it into a regular socket. When choosing a micro inverter, you need to look at two things, the input voltage range and the maximum input current. These two 425 watt solar panels put out a fairly high current, so some micro inverters were disqualified right away. They just couldn't handle the current. This system is technically over paneled. Two 425 watt panels means 850 watts going into an 800 watt inverter. But that's actually fine. The inverter will simply clip the axis. I've never had them reach over 300 watt each. Most of the time, panels don't hit their rated output anyway. So over paneling helps maximize your solar harvest year round. So why would you choose a system like this? It just works like a string inverter. It converts DC to AC and syncs with the grid. But it's smaller and easier to install. For small setups like this one or two panels, it will fit perfectly. And here's why it's especially useful if you're renting or living in an apartment. There's no need for permits or electricians in most cases. You don't have to drill into walls or mount anything permanently. If you move, you just unplug the system and take it with you. You can install it on a balcony, patio or even in a small yard. This makes it a great and easy entry level system if you want to save money on your power bill without going all in on rooftop solar. But if you plan on expanding to more than let's say four large panels, I recommend upgrading to a string inverter. Micro inverters are less durable over the long term. They will sit behind the panel and will get hot over time. That can reduce their lifespan. String inverters, on the other hand, are made for higher loads and they're usually installed in a cold shaded area and they'll tend to last longer. Still, for a simple plug-in system, especially for renters or small homes, this micro inverter does the job and I will link this one in the description. Now, the last safety point. If the grids shut down, this micro inverter will shut down as well. The inverter needs the grid signal to sync and operate. If the power company cuts power, this system won't feed anything back. That's called anti-eyelading and it's required by law in most countries. It protects the people working on the electricity during outages. These kind of systems become very popular in Europe. In fact, they were just legalized here in Belgium. They're also called balcony solar systems, designed to offset your power bill without a full solar power install. Some sets come with handy mounts so you can hang them over your balcony railing. If you want to add more panels or go fully solar, then it's worth investing in a larger string inverter for a more permanent setup. I'm planning to keep using this exact setup. So if I run into any issues or any improvements, 
I will update the description below. If you want to learn more about solar panels, especially for off-grid systems, check out my book, which is now available in German. It would be great if German-speaking people could leave a review for the German edition. You will also find links to my beginner's playlist and some inspiration for off-grid systems here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.